What's up, everyone? <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel, Car B and B. Um, man, oh man. Whew. Real quick, uh, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just you know, funny just watching your world change around you sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, but Turo has a uh, has released a um, a message saying that guests are able to. Uh, uh, to cancel for free due to the Corvette 19, aka coronavirus, out here. Um, they haven't experienced any loss of rentals, like people's not really canceling, but they're giving people the option. Um, this isn't unfamiliar for me personally. Um, I've been doing Airbnb for four years, and Airbnb, when natural disasters hit, um, gave all the guests the same type of uh, free cancellations. Not an Airbnb. Not an Airbnb. That shit hurt. It, it ain't too raw. It hurt an Airbnb because people are booking your homes for seventeen hundred dollars canceling, five hundred dollars canceling, four hundred dollars canceled. That's a bigger deal, dog. Like <laughs> I, I ain't trying to take no um, losses like that. And I've seen people almost lose their homes. Or apartments um, based on that. Now, granted, they should have definitely put some money aside just for rainy days like this, but uh, it, it, nonetheless, it happened. Um, it, you know, and it'll be something like a tornado has hit, and they, you know, the, the guests can't make it down there, or something like that. Um, just, just you know, stuff like that. So, Turo's offering the kind of same thing for people who don't want to, you know, get infected, or you know, it's a safety concern. So, I mean, uh, you got to understand that. I know me personally, I know I'm not doing no traveling outside of Atlanta right now. I'm not doing no traveling, at least for the next couple of months, until there's a new positive development. And um, that could be me just being scary or call it what you want. You know what I mean? Just believing in media hype. Look, man, I don't be playing no games with this type of shit at all, bro. Like, at all. Um, I'm, I'm watching people die left and right all in Wuhan and we got some cases of death here you know what I mean like I take stuff like that real seriously man like I, I, I'm doing all this work I'm doing everything I'm doing all these cars all that shit can end just like that you know what I mean all from uh from the wrong person sneezing on me you know what I mean um but as far as uh Turo your Turo if you have fears that your Turo may slow down right now I don't think it will like right now currently like I'm in my C-class right now just got it back goes right back out in six hours um i don't really think it's gonna affect us too much as far as our, our rentals um because if you don't get a lot of traveling clients you still get a lot of locals and um which i i prefer you know clients outside uh i mean coming I, I prefer airport clients but you still got your locals um as long as you're in a, a big city like I am in Atlanta, I don't think you're going to be affected too harshly as long as there's not like a major, major, super major outbreak in that city. Um, but who knows? Like, it, it is unknown. Um, right now, I'm not in panic mode. I am on high alert. I am, um, every time I'm getting paid from Turo, I, I do kind of just set the shit aside right now. Because um, it's not like I really need the income like that anyway. You know what I mean? I just, right now, I'm just going to, you know, pay majority of my car notes and just sit on the money just in case um damn it I, I just hate the timing is bad because we're right here in spring and summertime and that's peak Turo and airbnb season that's when you damn near doubling your money um that you usually make um so i kind of hate that that's i hope there's a solution to come up soon or you know whatever the case is i, I really hope so um because this 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 it could, it does have, I won't lie and act like it doesn't have the potential to be extremely damaging. And, and, and that's just not with Turo. That's Airbnb. That's Uber. That's, that's damn near everyone. The only way it won't be catastrophic if all the banks and all the lenders and all the big companies say, you know what? Hey, if you got bills, we're not charging you for this month. <laughs> we're not charging you for next month. We're not charging you for the next, you know, the next three months until the coronavirus. That's the only way. And we all know they're not going to do that. They're greedy. You know what I mean? They, they prey on situations like that. Some companies will will do it just to save face. Some companies um, 
I can already see it now, like Nike uh, paying the employee salaries for the next two, three months free of charge or something like that. Some companies will do it, but majority of these companies will um, will still be expecting payments uh, regardless of a virus or not. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I, like I said, I, I'm not going to act like it can happen, um, but just be prepared. Be preparing yourself um, if it does. Um, if it doesn't, then great. You know what I mean? Um, but right now we have no way to tell. It's just right now it's not the time to panic though. It's not, it's not panic time. Um, and hopefully we don't have panic time, man. So, I mean, what's your guys' thoughts on it? Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, uh, right now I think that, I think that's the great choice by Toro to offer that to guests. And it's not going to really affect us like that as it is really, because, you can really cancel your reservation on Toro right now anyway. Guests can kind of cancel up to like 24 hours or 48 hours before they trip anyway and get a full refund back. So there's no real surprise there. Majority of Toro rentals, like right now, if I'm I'm, if I'm projected to do 20,000 this month, um, only really realistically, only about four to five grand is future reservations. Everything else, on a uh, it's, it's on a daily basis, and and that, and they just the way the rental car work. That, that's that's not nothing new. Um, anytime anytime I know I've traveled, I've never made reservations in advance for a rental car. I just assumed Hertz got rental cars. I assume Enterprise had rental cars. So and that's the majority of of, of America, honestly, because that's that's how Turo has been. Because um, and, and at first it used to be a bit scary because I used to be like, is this sustainable? Like. You know, I don't, I'm not seeing too many future bookings, but it is. I mean, they're just how people book when they book cars. It's just a lot different from your hotels and your, you know what I mean? People are scared of running out of hotels and homes, but they just figure cars are everywhere because they see them everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, so the, the cancellation policy is not going to really affect us like that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like I said, we'll see. But guys, uh, send me your input. Let me, let me know what you think. All right, peace.